Okay, so here we are. I've got my... Do we have power on? Yeah, I think so. Battery came today. Let's open up the box. And power supply, I guess I should say. Open the box here. And see what we've got inside. And then... Fire up the bad boy down there and uh, see if we can get this new power supply installed and get that original backup server up and online. So let's get rid of that plastic and open this up fresh and see what we've got inside here. Okay, so we're just going to open up the box with the new power supply. Let's have a look to see what's inside here. So. We have the power cord, and we have the power supply itself with all of the corresponding cords that are coming out of the power supply itself. It's very shiny. Let's take this. There we go. It's a very shiny power supply. There's me. Highly reflective. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is uh, put the connectors into the disk drives. So let's start with this one here. Like that. And then this one can go down in here like this. set this up here somehow or put it inside then I'm going to rest it down inside there and then I'm going to uh, make sure that those are tightly connected and then we have to put the connectors from the motherboard back in as well and they're going to connect in there and there okay, so I just set the power supply down into the uh, down into the body of the tower to give us a little bit more room. So here are the extra cables. What I've done so far is I have reconnected the motherboard cables into the disk drives and the cords so far from, get my hand out of the way, from the power supply into the corresponding plugs here on the disk drives. I just plugged the motherboard cable back into the uh, three and a half floppy. And here's the card reader here. I don't remember which one goes in the card reader, but I believe this is the one that goes in the three and a half floppy, goes right in here. Make sure I'm putting it in right. It's got like a little bit of an edge there. Like this, or maybe the other way. Should just slide. There it goes right like that. Okay, push that in. There we go. Okay. Okay, so as we're going back through the last video, and I'm reminding myself how to plug these um, things in, we're going to plug this big plug in uh, at this point in time which comes from the power supply and it goes down into the motherboard into that connector right there. So I'm going to push this down into uh, that connector and then we can do the next step. And so I've just located this little uh, four prong plug and remembering that I took it out of that area down there, that socket down there. So I'm going to replace that socket. Okay, there we go. Okay, and now I'm going to run these cables here over to power the hard drives. So these ones right here will power the hard drives to the side here. So I'll run them along the base. So I'll probably run them all along the where they were before along that little. Uh, track down over here and then I don't believe any of the rest of these cables served a purpose so we'll double check that 
and um, and then we'll see how we're doing from there. Right, so I have plugged in the uh, cables from the power supply into the hard drives. Don't have as much wire as in the original power supply, so it's, everything's a little bit tighter. Okay, these weren't used in the other one, so we're just going to push those down in there. Alright. So I'm going to put the uh, fan cover back on now, and then we are going to plug it in and give it a shot and see if it all works. Alright, well I just plugged it in. Motherboard lights on, and I noticed that everything in the front here has all lit up. This is a definite positive. Hard drive light is flashing. From this point, everything seems to be operational. Far cry from the dead computer that I had just a couple of weeks ago. So I guess the next step will be to plug it into a monitor and see if it is working beyond lighting up. Lighting up is all well and fine, but see if it's actually working. This is exciting so far. Just wanted to check to make sure that the fan's working before we close everything up, and that's uh very key and important piece to keeping the computer running smoothly and to keep the motherboard nice and cool is that the fan is running. So it did just shut off, it was running. So we'll just have to monitor that and make sure that it keeps coming back on when it's needed. Right, the moment of truth. Here we go. Nice. I like it when things light up. Lighting up is good. Oh, snap! Dell 9100 series coming back online. I'll be. There it is. Windows Home Server version 1. Rebooting up. Far cry from pushing the button and nothing happening. There we go. Windows starting back up. It took a long time. I'm wondering if that's just because it's uh, been sitting dormant for quite some time and then I just put in a new power supply. So I'm going to boot it up and then we'll have a look to see if there's anything. Let's see here. There we go, so far so good. Oh, let's try again here. There we go. Sometimes trying to do things with one hand isn't necessarily uh, conducive to getting much done. There we go, we're all loading up. Beautiful. Alright. I hereby declare my uh, power supply replacement a success. Now I just gotta tweak some of the settings and uh, play around with uh, what might have got corrupt when the power supply died off earlier. But everything's back up. Beautiful.